don't worry, no cat was harmed in the making of this video. apologize for the roosters or chickens, whatever the hell those things are. They're one or the other. <laughs> um, sorry for hearing those, they're my neighbors. But um, my heat intolerance isn't too bad right now and the breeze is nice so I'm able to be outside. So um, why not? It's better for my mental health. And of course I could use the vitamin D. This is my stimming video, as you can read on the title, and um, before I let y'all see me stim, um, I want to kind of give like a, I don't know, I guess you could call it a disclaimer uh, beforehand. When I started my channel and was thinking about starting it, you know, I knew for a fact that I was going to get a lot of hate comments and a lot of hate and a lot of people that are ignorant and just don't understand and, you know, trolls. I knew I was going to get them. Um, and I finally got them. I got them on my last video. And it's not affecting me too much. I think I got a tough skin. I've gone through a lot in my life and um, some internet people that don't understand and probably don't even care to understand aren't going to bother me. But I have a dilemma over them because I'm not going to reach the people that are ignorant and don't want to learn. I know that. But I don't, I can't decide if I'm going to delete their comments or if I'm going to keep them up. I don't want my whole comment section to be just a bunch of negativity. Um, that's one thing I know I don't want, but I feel like deleting people is censorship and um, I don't know, I'm not afraid of the comments. I know I'm going to get them on this video probably. Uh, particularly probably about my happy stim. That is um, one of the most thing like that is the most thing I'm apprehensive about showing you. To me I feel like some people might think take it as cringy or as me faking it. Um, they think my stims are fake too so you know. Um, the way I was able to get an authentic stim captured on video was because I was watching Rick and Morty and I thought the sh bleh, bleh, bleh. I thought the show was going to make me stim, but it ended up being Oscar. <laughs> Whew. Um. No, 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 ha, ha, no, 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 no. But, um, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So, I guess if you want to, you can give me your uh, opinion. Do you think I should delete the comments that are negative? Um, or should I keep them up? That, you know, I don't know what I'll decide. It could change. As my, my channel grows, I might have to delete them, because if I'm getting just a bunch of hate, then I don't want my whole comment section to be just hateful. This is a positive channel. This is a realistic channel. And, you know, hate is realistic. So, don't know what I'm going to do about that. One thing I'm worried about the stimming video is... Um, People are going to call me faker. People are going to call me a faker about it. And I'm kind of... What's the word? I don't happy stim around people that I'm uncomfortable about. Stimming is not something that you can't control. Like, I can start stimming right now. Um, I kind of am, actually. You can't see it. I'm holding my fingers. But everybody in the world stems. Aut people with autism stem that is more in a way that is not socially acceptable. Um, my stems are with my feet and my hands mainly. So I can hide them pretty easily. You know, if I'm wearing shoes, you're not going to know I'm stimming. Um, my stimming is down here. 
so I'm just kind of playing with my nail like this, moving it back and forth. It's it's really nice. I, I like it. It um, helps with anxiety. It's I've always done it. You probably even do it. Do you ever like tap your foot, you know, or click your pen? That's stimming. That's just social acceptable stimming. So here's me stimming. Self-stimulatory behavior, also known as stimming and self-stimulation, is the repetition of physical movements, sounds, or repetitive movements of objects common in individuals with developmental disabilities, and most prevalent in people with autism spectrum disorder. However, it is also commonly seen in people with anxiety disorders, such as obsessive compulsive disorder, ADHD, Tourette syndrome, and in people with neurological disorders or brain infections. It is considered a way in which a person with autism and others calm and stimulate themselves. Therapists view this behavior as a protective response to being overly sensitive to stimuli, with which the individual blocks less predictable environmental stimuli. Sensory processing disorder is also given as a reason by some therapists for this condition. Another theory is that stimming is a way to relieve anxiety and other emotions. Calming stimming behaviors include hand flapping, rocking, excessive or hard blinking, pacing, head banging, repeating noises or words, snapping fingers, and spinning objects. Stimming is almost always an aspect of autism, but it is also regarded as part of some non-autistic individuals' behavior patterns. The difference between autistic and non-autistic stimming is the type of stim and the quality of stimming. For instance, when the need to stim or the amount of stimming interferes with the normal behavior a person would have, it becomes diagnosable as autism or Asperger's. Carly Fleischmann explains it best. She was asked to explain stimming, and this was her answer. In order to answer this question, I have to explain what a stim is. My experience is that most doctors don't even know what a stim is. Most people are able to be in a room and block out sensory input and focus on the person that's talking with them. For someone with autism, our senses come at us all at once and we do not have a filter that allows us to block out everything. So we are constantly overwhelmed by sensory input. A stim, as doctors call it, is when someone creates output to block out input. We create output in order to block out the ongoing input. Typical stims are humming and covering one's ears. This allows us to block out incoming sounds and change frequencies that we are receiving. I would like to point out that most people in the world stim. How many of you have doodled on a piece of paper when you're talking on the phone? Twiddled your thumbs or twiddle your hair? You may see more people with autism do it because our stems don't look socially appropriate. I want to give a quick thank you to everybody that is going to be understanding and supportive about this because this was very hard for me to show y'all. Thank you. Now you've seen me stem. If you have any questions about stemming, please leave them in the comment section below. If you could share this video for awareness, that would be fucking amazing. Please share. Um, as always, I love you so much. Thank you for being alive. Have an amazing day. Bye.